All right, guys, this is the inside of what a soapbox derby car looks like. So it's very simple. Um, got your front axle here, and it has a steering cable that just runs back to a pulley, runs through an adjustment, hits another pulley, and then it hits the steering wheel. Steering wheel is just simple. It just turns the cable. It rips right around the bottom here, and then it goes back over to the other side. Very simple. Um, you want to make sure it's as straight as possible when the steering wheel is straight. You do that by measuring from the back axle to the front axle and make sure it's the same when the steering wheel is straight. The brake, you've got a brake pedal, cable runs back to a pulley, runs to another pulley and hits this plunger here. So when you hit the brake, all it does is pull that shaft down and underneath the car. You've got that plunger that comes down and basically has a piece of mining belt on it that uh, rubs the ground. Brake pedal can be moved if you need to for to accommodate the driver. Driver sits here, feet are up there. It's a very simple setup. As far as the rear goes on a stock car, which is what this one is, these are steering stabilizers, rear axle stabilizers. So you want to measure from the, I'll try to stay out of the shadow here, from the kingpin here to right there at the back edge of the axle on both sides you loosen these bolts and it gives you a little bit of play but you want to make sure that it's exactly the same on both sides before you tighten these two down so i mean that's basically it and the shell goes on and that's a uh, how a soapbox derby car works